I managed to be the one to get hit by everything. I won money this stream, bro. Savers have shut the fuck up. Shut the fine fuck up, bro. God. You guys always gotta fucking show off, man. All right. But anyway, GG's. We'll, we'll definitely play more Mario Kart. Hopefully they talk about Mario Kart. Guys, look, I really want another Mario Kart. I like playing Mario Kart with the chat. If they announce a new Mario Kart, that's going to make me really happy. Mario Kart X. They got to make a Mario Kart 10. Mario Kart XXX? Ayo! Two minutes. All right, we got two minutes. Let's just chill out. Let's just vibe out. Um, You think they're going to open up with a Smash announcement? They usually open up with Smash Brothers. You think they're going to open up with Smash or you think they're going to end with Smash? Oh, the bingo card. Oh, my God. The bingo card. The fucking bingo card. The bingo card. Fuck. Bingo. <laughs> bingo. Fuck. I forgot about the bingo card. Shit. Bitch, where's the bingo card? I know I got it. Oh, my God. Bingo. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. This is terrible. Hold on. I'm going to have to fucking print screen it. Oh, my God. I'm gonna have to print screen it. Hide. Fire. All right, paint. It's about to start. Okay. We got it. Ah! Okay. We got the bingo car right here. Ah! Home. Draw. Big pen. Big black ink. All right, we out. We out. We got the bingo card. We got 400 viewers in here. If y'all knew, y'all better fucking follow. Shit. I'm gonna go to y'all house and I'm gonna tuck y'all in. Fucking read you a bedtime story. <laughs> Just fucking follow, please. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see what's gonna happen. Are they gonna open up with Smash? It's five o'clock. Rated P for M. All right, let's go. Please note, due to COVID release dates and information, I bet. I'm going to put the volume a little bit loud so you guys can hear it. All right, you guys can hear it good? Can you guys hear me and, and the thing good? It sounds good? I bet. I bet. Xenoblade 2? Rex? Xenoblade 2, Neo with the thick thighs, Rex Rex, Tora wanna One fuck day, Poppy? Pyra just disappeared. Cutie boy, oh, oh. Tora. I didn't play the DLC, dude. Yo, I forgot how big their titties were in this. Where my lotion? My man Zeke. I couldn't find Stratospheric Thunder. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find you. Whatever Ain't no way Rex got into Smash. Rex got into Smash, dude. This is where you were. Pyra! Final destination, Rex is in Smash. It's final destination. I tell you. Because 
I got an invitation to join Snap. Her titties are the same size. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Oh, I thought I was gonna be in Smash. Just sit back and leave it to me. It's friends. just Pyra. Behold the power of the Aegis. Wait, so we don't even play as Rex. We play as Pyra. We play as Pyra. That's genius. You're pretty much owning them. And these are seasoned fighters. There are no pushovers. <laughs> this looks good. Mithra gonna come out? Talk about a tight spot. Mithra? Mithra? We got both Pyra and Mithra. Oh! Oh! It's over, boy. The big titty waifu duo is here. Oh my God! Where's my freaking petroleum jelly? Oh my god, the fan art on Twitter is going to be crazy. The fan art on Twitter is going to be crazy once again. You could just switch forms? That's seamless? That's bullshit! Quite the spectacle, aren't they? You can just switch mid battle, kind of like um, dude. It, it's like kind of like Zelda and Sheik from Smash Brothers Melee. Oh, look our friends are here, and there's a boy. You're all I'll lend you a hand. Also, okay, Rex is part of the special. Oh my God, the specials from the game, dude. Expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too! Yo, I'm not even mad at this. This is way better than Eggman. Fuck Eggman. The fact that they put the two waifus in this game and they completely excluded Rex, because I guess Rex is a me co he's a me costume. So now we got the two big titty waifus. Hello, everyone. It's been. I'm a fine with this. I'm, I'm not even mad at this. Fuck Eggman. Nintendo. This is perfect. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. For some time? We're talking about like almost two years. I'm happy to show you. No, we're talking about like a year and some change. Today. You said I wanted Dante. Look, here's the thing with, with Xenoblade 2. That game was supposed to be in Smash, I feel like, for a hot minute, but they were stalling it out. You said I gotta buy Xenoblade 2. Okay. Xenoblade 2 is a long ass fucking game with a lot of content. I shit on Xenoblade 2 with their cutscenes and shit. Super Smash Bros. But Xenoblade 2, the story was great. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Yo, I'm so glad they did not out. give them breast Please reductions. I thought they were gonna censor the fuck out of these Smash characters. Brothers I think they got jiggle physics this in this game. Releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned. In March? Just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Yo, everyone gonna be like, no, Fall Guys on the Switch? Yo, this game already lost its hype. Yo, oh shit, get the card out. Get the card out, Resident Sleeper, bruh. Where's the Resident Sleeper? Where, oh shit, I took the Resident Sleeper out. Boom. Boom. Oh, no, 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 Resident Sleeper spam. Right here, bam. Resident Sleeper spam. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system <laughs> summer 2021. Ain't nobody care about Fall Guys anymore. Fall Guys is donezo. Oh my god. 
Wait. You have 22 minutes before the solar system. I is put destroyed. new Xenoblade game. What else? Smash Brothers Online improvements. Venture into the vast um, reaches of space to uncover the secrets left Smash behind Bros. Character. by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. This looks two good. deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North this America good. for the first time. Localized in English and modernized I like visual novels, Nintendo Switch system. But this looks actually pretty good. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat the as you dive into move. these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, yeah, like they're the actually animated. I like that. Surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. Oh, that sounds terrible. But that's not the only case to crack. You said models move, unlike Xenoblade. Yo. In the other game. Yo, I could already hear Blunt Z fucking. Cause look, mind you, Blunt Z already spams enough Xenoblade content on his fucking Twitter. This motherfucker is gonna go on a goddamn field day. Can you figure out who the culprit is? Cause look, it's too late. Look, Blunt Z, my man wakes up and the first words out of his mouth when he wakes up is, ah, Xenoblade, ah. So you know for a fact. The fact that they got these two girls in this game, he ain't gonna shut the fuck up for another one. Detective Club, the girl who stands behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 15th. I bet you if you guys check his Twitter, he probably wild the fuck out. A new age of battles begins. What the fuck is this? What is this? You said Fire Emblem? Is it? Nah, this ain't Fire Emblem. <laughs> Samurai Warriors 5? Where's the rest of them? The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period. Like they're talking about Samurai Warriors 5. I haven't even heard Oda of 1 through 4. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. I mean, the visuals and the character design looks nice. In electrifying 1 versus 1,000 battles. Okay, that looks fire. That looks fire. Slashing its way on It's just Nintendo another, Switch, yeah. Summer 2021. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. After 20 long years, we're already Legend 10 of minutes Mana, in. Featuring remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map, is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. 
Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. Okay. You said, yo, Rex got cut. Let's be honest here. Oh, is this Monster Hunter? Yes, Monster Hunter. So, this game, I, I want to try it out. said i hardly played world because yo when world came out there were so many other games so it's finally beginning go assemble the villagers there were so many other games that came out when world came out i think kingdom hearts came out at the same time as as worlds and we suffered some devastating casualties how can we fight against that our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge yet get iceborne no! We can't lose this game! Pull yourselves together! You're not getting in! Let's go, everyone! Go rampage so This is else. on the Switch? You to me. This actually looks pretty good! Here it comes! Watch out for the Apex! Do not let it pass! You say it runs smooth? How long do you think it's going to last? Okay. Nintendo's really going to be pushing this game. This game looks pretty decent. I have no. to try it out, though. We should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. We must stop the calamity! Okay. March 26th? That's like right after my birthday. Right after my birthday. Wow, look. A Monster Hunter version of the Switch. And they put way more detail into their stuff than the Smash Brothers one. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. Uh-oh, this might be a banger. This might be a banger chat. No! Oh! No! Fuck. Tee off in the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Is the online gonna be at least good? Because I would love to play Mario Golf against the chat. I'll fuck you guys up in golf. I will destroy you motherfuckers in golf. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game. Oh uh, no. Letting you easily no. enjoy no. the sensation motion controls, of no. golfing. Nah. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements Fuck that Mario truly bring golf. the heat to Mario one Golf. One, what? In this one, golf. Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees what? at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. 
But is the oh, online gonna be smooth? Did we mention story mode? Oh! As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then, allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character okay, this however looks cool. you'd like. You, you said Drake? Your is that Wario? Play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Let the online be good. Begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. Let the online be good, please. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy-to-learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Headlines? Okay. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. We're almost 20 minutes in. Return to the unforgiving oh, I don't give a fuck about this. Tales from the this Borderlands. Shit. Tales Play as of the Hyperion Lackey Come on, Reese dude. and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Bro, no cap. Monsters, bandit lords, My bingo card is empty. The obstacles you'll encounter empty. in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety Capcom of Capcom classics. To okay. That sweet arcade goodness. This is good. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free. Then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add on to build your collection. Local co op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Later today. Okay. That's pretty good. Brain. Yo, she about to suck on a glizzy. You just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grizzly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. This looks like a PS2 game. What the hell is this? It's Travis Touchdown versus a No Assassin. more heroes, Wait, baby! Aliens? No more heroes! Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper you hand You saw the mechanics? With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some, uh... Whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or you know, let's go! We got a date! Switch, August 27th. We got a date. We got a date. Exterminate demons in he heaven. This looks fire. What is this? What is this? This looks cool. As above, so below. As above, so below. Assassins in heaven. <laughs> To do someone's dirty work. Oh, it's a first person. Wait, what the hell is this? Is this. This looks like Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. A first person Kingdom Hearts shooter with cards. Nah, I don't like playing games with cards. It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Okay. 
Uncover neon Heaven's white. Mysteries in Neon White. Coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. Oh shit, we're, we're 20 minutes in. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Hi everyone, my name's Barbara Gordon. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and bat hook. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives and trust me. What the fuck is wrong with them? A moment at Metropolis High School. Why they look like that? Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar. Wrap it up. It. Wrap it up. Hey, I got a comment already. Wrap That's it up. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh oh, something really. Yo, no, 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 y'all not really gonna take five minutes on this, bro. Wrap it up. You can count on us to answer no matter what. We just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. We running out of time. Girls, team power. Yes, wrap, wrap it up, dude. Wrap it the fuck up. Come on. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Plants versus zombies? That's the thing, this game is old as hell. Like, isn't isn't this game already out on PlayStation and Xbox for like years? This game is old. No, I can tell the game is fun, but I mean, isn't this game like old as shit? Who will join you in your adventure? Oh no, it, anyone can. It's a me game. Band together on a quest to face evil and Bro, save. Bro, weren't these Asia. games for free on the 3DS? Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Metopia was on the 3DS. I played these. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your Mie creations and make them even more fabulous. Wow! Ew! In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. We got 25 minutes Whoa, left in this direct. As an ally? That sounds pretty barn good. Care for it, and it'll lend a hand or poof in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. Okay. Pre-orders begin today. Metopia looks like a lot of fun. You said Persona 6, Omega Low. Super Mario themed items are they coming did it. to your They island. fucking did it. This shit was done on Pocket Camp already. Super Mario this shit Brothers was done on Pocket Camp already. They fucking did the it, dude. Crossing New Horizons game. Wow. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered. We already have all this on, on the mobile game. We have this already so on the mobile. Them, however, and wherever you'd like. Wow. You can also place two warp pipes. Oh, that's cool. You can place a warp pipe and then go to another part of your town. That's cool. 
then use them to travel between locations on your That's island. cool. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? A free update for the game launches February 25th. Oh, that's real soon. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Maddo Dash said, wrap Keep it up. on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. Nah, I'm not going to follow you guys. You guys disappointed me. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. How was that? That was good. These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week we had the global launch nah, of the Super Mario Nah, do not Mario take up this World time. Bowser's Fury do Day. not take up this time for this. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Yes, keep going. Next, we have another game to show you. Okay. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. What's this? To each their own conventions? What is this? This look like a Square Enix game. What is this? This is a Square Enix. You said new Fire Emblem? The Jesus art looks great. Sword. Oh my god, it's Octopath. Will answer for its crimes today. It's freaking, it looks like Octopath, dude. Loyalty. Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. Damn, that bitch is dead. I all in my power to see us through this safely. Every last one of us. Did they actually make an Octopath 2? Triangle strategy. Huh? Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia. Uh-oh. Comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great no, conflict it's the same game. known as the Salt Iron War. They're still talking about this Though game. the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remain. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies. This game has voice acting. Let's go. From Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? Damn. In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location it's and their freaking fire weapon. emblem, dude! The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long-range weapons yeah. such as bows and arrows. It's fire Thus, emblem! Your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. This is fire emblem, An but with better graphics. It is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy what have we here charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack we win link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain then electrify the area with lightning magic Yo, this looks fire, though. It is of the utmost importance. This looks really to good. The battlefield before taking action. This looks really good. Yo, they've you really taken the up time on this. You will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality. Liberty. You said, Retro, you're not going to play this? Stop capping? Of course not. You know how much hours this thing must be? I didn't even finish the other two routes in um, three houses. But the game looks good, though. I can't compliment the game, goddamn chat. The game looks good. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are but it's, settled but by vote. Like you guys are saying, this is literally Octopath Three Use Houses. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. 
the story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refused to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced. As more and more critical decisions are made, your Play journey Zonky may Zero? take you down paths divergent I'm about from to fight those you. of other players. You will see what true might is. Might these nuts. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Please be on the lookout for more information in the future. Oh my god! After this presentation, a demo version a of the demo game of the will presentation. be available to download on Nintendo eShop. Oh and my in god! In the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. Okay. We look forward to hearing your it responses on Maybe. the demo. Maybe we could try it out. All right. Please look forward to future updates. We on got brand new tactical. We got 18 RPG minutes left. Square Enix. 18 minutes okay, left. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Headlines. Come on. 18 minutes left. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? No, not Star Wars. No. I don't want to see Star Wars. Wrap it up! Thank you. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between Episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. They wrapped that shit up quick. That shit was like 10 seconds. All right, let's do this. All right, guys. Hmm. Right. World of Why Warcraft? Or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. Gorgon used many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. Wrap it up! No, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass! <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. Come get British okay, team, they may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone. Yo, 15 minutes left. We got 15 minutes left. Wrap it up. Uh, what? Interview's over. Oh, come on, man. One more game. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. We got 15 minutes left. Wrap it up. The fight for survival starts now. What is this Chibi Dang and Rampa? Cuz you're all going to play. It's Chibi Dang and Rampa. Fight for me. From the creators of the Dangan Rampa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life. Didn't we hear about this game like 2 years ago and we talked about it on stream? Wasn't this game trash? The Go Getters Club must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet. Sorry to scare you all, but I heard this game was garbage. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Who Club, made a bike that big? Nintendo Switch 
May 28th. And he wasted and he spoiled the whole plot. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical we release of Game of the Fucking Two of Gods. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game so of the Year So we're getting Year a physical awards, version? Is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. I'll probably get it. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Ninja, Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden okay. Master Collection. That's cool, that's cool. That's cool. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with a different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill <laughs> your destiny. <laughs> All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Yo, they look like dead or alive characters. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. We got 12 minutes left. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I don't care about this game, dude. DLC Expansion Pass. Oh my gosh. Expanded roster. Oh my god. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Please give us some bangers. Bravely Default 2 is okay. almost here. We got we we're Four about to roll up. Look, I can't speak. We got 10 minutes. Crystals. 10 minutes Use they the gotta drop a banger they have to drop a banger and default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles I live to fight. veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on february 26th a new trailer for bravely default 2 will be revealed following this presentation the game can be pre-ordered on nintendo eShop. an updated demo is also available all right, come on. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and if Goblins series comes to life. If I see this game again, life, if I Brave see this game Arthur one more fucking time, weapons, this stupid ass masochist to game, monsters across I'm gonna get pissed. Within the demon realm. This game Local is so excruciatingly hard. You must be a masochist if you like this game. Three supporting characters. I hate this game. Defense, you die to anything, and all you can do is bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February. No, 20th. bro. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. This is like, this is like Cuphead on crack cocaine. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus. Saga Frontier Look at this bingo list. An adventure not Look at this bingo list. The game launches. Nothing. 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 Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Apex? Switch system. Oh my God, this we got nine minutes. Battle Royale features a growing roster nine of powerful minutes. contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. 
Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo okay. Direct. Okay! So we hope you'll stick with us. Yes! Next, please take a look at this. We got eight minutes. Come on, man. Drop a banger. You got to drop a banger. Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda oh! series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Yes! Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Trilogy? Please! please. Take a look. Legend of Zelda Trilogy? Give us a collection! Legend of Zelda Collection, please! Skyward Sword, baby! Skyward Sword, baby! Skyward Sword! Give us some more shit! Give us some shit! Give us some shit, bro! Okay. Okay. Hey, yo, Link, close that mouth! Give us a collection, dude! Is it just this game? Hey, yo, stop! Stop! Oh! They, yo, they gotta give us a collection, dude. That's it? What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, okay. and now it's coming At least we got Nintendo something. Switch. At least we got something. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Okay, that makes sense. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both Yo, we got five bell, minutes arrow. left. Are they really These about to end it with this? Sense of urgency and this ain't a banger. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch okay. Lite system. After mulling over how to assign There's no way they're about to end it like this. different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. The right Joy-Con controller Yo, is the scalpers the are gonna- Oh my god, I have to get this! Shield motif. I have to get this! The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda- I have to get this! Details the event I gotta get two boxes of this! Of one to itself. open up and use, and one to just keep! We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. Five minutes left. July 16th. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Five Following minutes left. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. Yo, However, they're really ending on this. many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend they're of really Zelda Breath ending of the on Wild. This. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ram. Even the concept they're of ending it on this. to upgrade gear. Wow. Damn. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well.
please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Wow. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda that's Skyward it. Sword that's has been it. optimized for Nintendo Switch. That's it. It includes intuitive I think that's motion it. controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will okay. be the last announcement for the today. The last Please announcement. Take a look at this. The last announcement. Come on, you have to drop a banger. It gotta be either Bayonetta or Metroid Prime. Not actual gameplay. What the fuck is this? Splatoon 3! Splatoon! 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 I fucking called it! Fucking Splatoon! Fucking Sp Oh shit, yo! I called it, baby! Fucking woo me! Oh my god, you guys said it couldn't be done! You guys said you had to wait till the next console! Fucking Splatoon, baby! Yo! Oh my god! Oh my god, Splatoon! Please! Splatoon! Oh! What is this? The Eiffel Tower? Bro! Oh my god, I'm so happy! I'm so happy! I wanted this! This was my wish! Bro! Bro! I did not expect this! Oh my god! We're in Tokyo? We're in Shibuya? Yo! What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. You guys said it couldn't be done. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to this sharing bingo more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. No bingo. Thank you for watching. No bingo. Oh my god, bro. I don't care. That was my fucking wish, dude. I was hoping there was going to be a Splatoon 3. No matter how many times I mentioned Splatoon 3, everybody was on my ass like, there's no way it's going to come out. There was no way that it was going to come out for the Switch. And they still did it. They still made a Splatoon 3 for the Switch. I've been saying this. Splatoon was the best multiplayer game I've ever played on the Nintendo Switch. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. I know Pork Smork is losing his mind, dude. Pork Smork must be like, I gotta regrind. I have to hone my skills for this next game. <laughs> yo, yo, he must be losing his mind, dude. Oh shit. Oh my god. You said too bad I'm not that hyped for Splatty, bro. 
I'm hyped for Splatty. I don't give a fuck if y'all not hyped for Splatty. I want a Splatoon 3. I've been saying this because Splatoon 2 is kind of like dying because they're not doing Splatfest as much anymore and it's an old game. But Splatoon, oh my gosh, nah. Hold up. I got to see what Twitter says. I'm, I'm going to be nervous. Hold on. I'm going to scroll slowly through Twitter. Hopefully, I don't see no, no nipples or nothing, bro. Hold up. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I got to play some music. Oh, oh. Put some fucking music on. And get this, they're probably going to use the new multiplayer service so it's guaranteed top play better. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Hold up. No bio. But I got Pyre in Smash and Splatoon 3 might be my first Splatoon game. I'm Splatoon 3? You never played Splatoon 2? You said Etika's trending? Etika I think is trending because... Because first of all, the Pyra and Mithril duo got in the big titty waifus and then we get in Splatty 3. Splatoon 3 coming to the Nintendo Switch? Jesus. Oh no. Oh, okay. I'm kind of scared of this. I gotta watch out for this guy. This guy posts crazy ass hentai. Okay, I gotta scroll slowly. You said, I honestly forgot about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. True. Fuck you, Splatoon. <laughs> is she happy or is she mad? Yo. Bro. What, 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 what song is this? What the fuck is this? A, 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 a church song? Who the fuck put this in here? Cool J? Why are you putting church songs in here, bro? Bro, the new hub, the new hub, the new hub. Bro, you say, yeah, you skip Doom music. I got you. I'll, I'll skip this music just for you. Skip, get that church. Grubhub perks give you deals on the food you love. The kind of deals that make you believe it. I should ban him. Fighting dreamers. Wumi three, of course, a hundred percent. Wumi three, Wumi three, Wumi three, Wumi three. Let's fucking go. Nah, they had to end it with a banger. Wumi three, Wumi three, Wumi three. Hold on, I gotta charge my phone. My phone's about to die. Stop putting this Friday night funkin' shit in here. Gloat wing, I'm gonna.
Rest in peace, Strikers. Rest in peace, Mario Party. Yo. Rest Yo, hold on, hold on. Mario Party. Hello, Mario Country Club. You said viewers leaving? I don't give a fuck if they leaving. They could go leave and trip on something. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck. Let's talk about the fucking this shit right here, right? Look at this. Bro, this list is dead. This list is dead. Yo, they talked about no Persona, right? They talked... There was no Diamond and Pearl remake. I thought they were going to have some type of Pokemon announcement. Nothing. Nothing. There was no Pokemon announcement whatsoever. Animal Crossing multiplayer game. They didn't add that shit. So cross that out. Cross that out. Mario sandbox game. Nothing. You know what? I feel like that was lazy of them to be like, hey, we're going to make Zelda... Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Like, you could have given us a trilogy or some shit. I feel like I feel like they were just like, fuck it. Let's just give them a fucking... Like, come on, dude. Like, don't get me wrong. Skyward Sword is hype. But I feel like you could have given us a little bit more. Because they had nothing to show for the Breath of the Wild 2. And when was the last time that the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer was shown? Wasn't it shown, like, almost two years ago? You said they didn't even have extra content. It's literally the same fucking game. Skyward Sword is a great game, though. No, it's a great game. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, like... You said they should have given Twilight Princess as well. That's what I'm saying. You should have you should have given us a little bit more because, like, come on, 2019. Um, Kirby Air Ride. Poof. There was no Kirby content. Earthbound localization. I dreamed too hard, but guess what? I dreamed too hard with Splatoon 3, and and, and I got that. Smash Brothers Online improvements. Omega Lol. Xenoblade game. It wasn't a Xenoblade game, but we got Pyra Mithra, sexy ass. Metro Prime 4. Hell no. Kingdom Hearts ports. Hell no. Metro Prime Trilogy, that shit is still in the back burner. They are still holding on to that shit. They don't want to... They, they are not going to give up the, the trilogy until the game is about to come out. That's when they're going to give us the trilogy. They're going to give us the trilogy when they have a set date, when Metro Prime is going to come out, and then they're going to be like, all right, just so you could get your balls tickled a little bit, then we're going to give you the Metro Prime Trilogy. Um, Pokemon Snap, I'm surprised they didn't talk about this. Persona Ports, A Man Dreamed, Shinigami Tensei 5, I'm surprised they didn't talk about this. I thought they were going to mention this at least a little bit. They mentioned the freaking superhero girl game more than fucking Shin Megami Tensei. I I'm surprised they even put a slot for that piece of shit game and not Shin Megami Tensei. Switch Pro, Dreams Are Crushed, Breath of the Wild 2, my man said straight up, they ain't nothing for this shit. Um, let me see. Pokemon Unite, Psh, they, they're never mentioning that game again. Pokemon Sleep, I think they got freaking made fun of, and then they never released it. Um, what the fuck is going on in Pokemon Go? Latios and Latios raids again, dude? I still haven't gotten a fucking shiny. Those stupid-ass airplanes. Um. Nintendo probably gonna save Pokemon stuff for a Pokemon Direct on Pokemon Day or something. Um, when is Pokemon Day? You said, did you vote chaos or order? I voted chaos. That's why the map looked like that. I think that's why the map looked like that because it was chaos. February 27th. All right. Um, where the fuck is Mario Kart? And I'm about to order myself some food, actually. I went full chaos, of course. I think I was team chaos during the Splatfest as well. And team chaos won. And then Team Chaos, wasn't Team Chaos, um, um, the, the, the Splatoon, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot her name, um, Pearl, right? Wasn't Pearl the Splatoon person for Chaos? Okay, give me a second. I want to see what else is going on on Twitter. Um, Splatoon 3, uh, my question is, what fruit they punch in to make it taste like that? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, Ivory with the raid, you sexy right bitch. Now. I'm crying, bro. Splatoon 3 is real. I got to go somewhere, but I wanted to say that I'm dying right now. Who I know. It? I know you're dying right now. Because in my head, they're the first person I thought of when they announced Splatoon 3. Tell me not those pork smork. Yo, you know what? Everyone in the chat, yo, somebody link Ivory's channel. Somebody link Ivory's channel. Shout out Ivory's channel. That's my fucking guy right there. I love that dude. Show him some love. Oh, God. Yo, thank you, thank you. 
Show my man some love. Anybody who wants to know anything about streaming, anime reactions, just an overall cool-ass guy, go follow my guy right now. Follow Ivory, man. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it.